Have you ever noticed that you have specific lines on the palms of your hands? Lines that intertwine, branch out and intersect like mysterious paths on an ancient map. And have you ever wondered whether or not they have any meaning? You should know that the lines on your palms are not just simple random marks. According to Buddhist tradition, these lines have profound symbolic and spiritual meanings and they can reveal hidden aspects of your personality, your potential, and your destiny. In this Nin story, thanks to Buddhist wisdom, we will focus in particular on the sun mind and see what it means to have this sign on the palms of your hands. So, if you are ready to embark on a mystical journey between legend and reality, in search of your inner peace, follow the video until the end. You will discover the secrets of the sun mind a symbol that has fascinated scholars, researchers, and truth seekers for centuries. And you will understand how this sign can influence your personality and destiny. It will be a mystical journey between legend and reality that could change your life. There is a monastery among the mountains of Japan which welcomes souls in search of enlightenment and wisdom every day. Within his austere walls, the old monk Ninsei renowned for his profound knowledge, usually gathers disciples to share precious teachings. One day, while the sun painted the sky with golden brushstrokes and the singing of birds filled the air of the surrounding forest with celestial melodies, Ninsi invited his students to gather around him. Dear disciples, he began in a quiet voice. Today, I will tell you about an enigmatic line that some of you may have imprinted on the palm of your hand. This line, called the Sun Line, is shrouded in an aura of mystery that has fascinated and intrigued Buddhist monks for centuries. A murmur of curiosity spread among the disciples like a light wind stirring the leaves of the trees. Each of them carefully examined their hand, trying to identify the mysterious line that could have hidden an unexpected fate. But before delving into the meaning of this line, Ninsi continued with an enigmatic smile, I will tell you the legend of a young monk obsessed with the sun mine. The disciples drew even closer, captivated by the promise of a fascinating story. And Ninsi began to tell the story of the young monk, his obsession with the line of the sun and his journey in search of the truth. Tenzin was an intelligent and sensitive boy, but tormented by a doubt. He didn't have the line of the sun on the palm of his hand, the master began to tell. Convinced that this was a sign of his adverse destiny, he isolated himself from the world, locked himself in a cave in the mountains. The disciples listened attentively, imagining Tenzin's sadness and loneliness. One day, Ninsi continued, an old Buddhist master named Kenpo came to see him and invited him to follow him. Kenpo was a wise and compassionate man with a deep understanding of human nature and the mysteries of the universe. Why should I follow you? Tenzin asked in a tired voice. My life is already marked by bad luck. Kenpo looked at him with understanding eyes. True luck, Tenzin, he said, is not found in the lines of your palm, but in the light that emanates from your heart. Follow your light and you will find happiness. Tenzin was doubtful because there was a reason he had taken refuge in those mountains. Some people, in fact, had convinced him that not having that specific mark on his hand was an omen of misfortune for him and for those around him. But something in Kenpo's words touched him, so he decided to follow him and embark on a journey of self-discovery. During their journey, Ninsi recounted, Kenpo taught Tenzin the principles of Buddhism meditation, and the importance of cultivating compassion, gratitude, and determination. Tenzin began to see the world with new eyes, to understand that true wealth does not lie in material things, but in the inner light that each of us possesses. A disciple, curious, asked, and the line of the sun, Master Ninsi? What meaning does it have in Tenzin's story? Ninsi smiled, the sun line he explained, represents the inner light that each of us possesses. Tenzin, 
initially obsessed by the absence of this line, learned to cultivate his inner light and not depend on external signs to find happiness. And his story teaches us that true luck is not a question of destiny, but of a positive attitude and a life lived in harmony with the values that inspire us. The disciples thought long and hard about Ninsi's words and Tenzin's story. The legend of the sun line had lit a spark in their hearts and a glimmer of hope. The desire grew in them to explore their own inner light and to live a more authentic and meaningful life where there was room for mental well-being. Over the next few days, Ninsi led his disciples in a series of meditations and teachings centered on the sun line. The sun line is often associated with a person's inner light, representing their potential, their creativity, and their ability to shine in the world, Ninsi said. According to those who deal with palmistry, a well-defined and marked line can indicate an individual with great potential to be realized. While, on the contrary, a weak or absent line can suggest a still unexpressed potential or a need to cultivate one's inner light. While the disciples were more and more attracted by the words of their mentor, Ninsei went on to talk about two other aspects traditionally linked to this sign on the hands. The sun line is linked to success in various areas of life, such as career, finance, and personal relationships, he added. A long, straight line can indicate an individual destined for success, while a short or irregular line can suggest obstacles or challenges to overcome to achieve one's goals. However, it is important to remember that success is not just a matter of fate, but also of commitment, determination, and positive choices. If we do not commit ourselves with dedication, consistency, and perseverance, we cannot expect that everything will go well and that our life will move towards success and serenity, continued the monk with conviction. Master Ninsi asked another disciple, what are the spiritual implications of this sign on the hands? According to the wisdom of older monks and according to the studies of some palmistry experts, the sun line is associated with spirituality, intuition, and connection with the divine. A deep, curved line can indicate an individual with strong spiritual sensitivity and deep intuition. And the presence of particular signs along the line, such as crosses or stars, can be interpreted as a sign of a special connection with the spiritual world. Then, after having remained silent for a while to ensure that everyone paid attention to these concepts, he invited them to reflect on the position of the line on their palm. This line, my dears, is present on the palm of your hands, and do you think it can suggest some traits of your personality and potential? Once again, a soft murmur arose in the room where they were gathered. Each of them meditated on the master's words. However, the sun line is not an immutable destiny, Ninsi continued, but rather an invitation to discover our natural talents and inclinations. It is a symbol that reminds us that each of us possesses a unique and special inner light, ready to shine if fueled with passion and dedication. The disciples enthusiastically engaged in the practices proposed by Ninsi, starting to pay more attention to their thoughts. They understood that listening to their emotions and paying attention to their actions, trying to identify the values that guided them and the goals they wanted to achieve, was crucial to living fully. One day, a disciple named Mai approached Ninsi with a doubtful expression. Master, he asked, my sun line is very short and thin. Does that mean I don't have much potential? Ninsi looked at her with his eyes full of wisdom. My, he said, sunlight is not measured by the length or breadth of its line, but by its intensity. Remember that even a small spark can light up an entire room. True strength lies in your determination, your compassion, and your will to make a difference in the world. Ninsi's words touched Mai's heart. The young woman realized that true wealth did not lie in external characteristics, but in the inner light that she could cultivate and share with others. Over time, Ninsi's disciples continued to grow and evolve, inspired by the legend of the sun line and the wisdom of their master. 
They learn to live in harmony with themselves and the world around them, spreading messages of peace, compassion, and hope. The story of the Lion of the Sun spread far beyond the monastery walls, reaching the hearts of people of every culture and religion. But what does this story teach us? That true luck is not a question of faith or external signs, but of a positive attitude and a life lived in harmony with the values that inspire us. True wealth lies in our mind, in our heart, and in the actions we perform every day. Like the sun mine, each of us has a unique and special inner light. It's up to us to grow it, nurture it, and share it with the world. Only in this way can we help create a brighter and more hopeful future for all. Let us always remember, the inner light is our greatest strength. Let's give her room to shine. In addition to this universal message, the story of the sun mine also offers us an invitation to reflect on our individuality and potential. The position of the sun mine on the palm of the hand can be seen as a metaphor for our natural talents and inclinations. It is an invitation to discover what makes us unique and to pursue it with passion and dedication. In a world that often pushes us to conform to predefined standards, the story of the sun mine reminds us that true wealth lies in our authenticity. And it is only when we embrace our uniqueness and share it with the world that we can make a difference for ourselves and others. So next time you look at the palm of your hand, remember the story of the sun mind. Be inspired by his message of hope and inspiration and start cultivating your inner light because that's where true luck and fulfillment lies.